Hello everyone, Ash here. And it's time to talk about all three press conferences for E3 2015, starting with Microsoft. How did Microsoft do? Very good. I liked Microsoft's press conference. I think they did a really good job with a lot of things. First and foremost, they showed the new Halo 5. I'll be honest, I wasn't impressed. I really wasn't. It just looked... It felt like I was watching Call of Duty, to be honest. It felt like I was watching a Call of Duty game. Really wasn't impressed. They brought another game on, which... I, again, wasn't impressed. The first two games I wasn't impressed with at all, really. It was like, eh, they look a little on the mediocre side. So, yeah, those games I wasn't that impressed with. Tomb Raider, on the other hand... Rise of the Tomb Raider. Damn, I'm, that game looks freaking awesome right there. I gotta admit, that looks like a really fun game. They got some other really cool games coming in. I gotta give them a lot of credit. Microsoft, again, the, some of the games they got coming out look really good. It's like, damn it. Now I may have to go get an Xbox One. <laughs> but this is something I loved. Backwards compatibility. Microsoft, thank you. This is something people have been asking for. And you're finally giving them one, giving them backwards compatibility. Maybe not on all tiles, but on a lot, of, especially the big ones. Oh, hell yes. The big tiles, backwards compatible, that's awesome right there. Um, Gears of War 1 Remastered, which I was kind of hoping they give us all three Gears games remastered, but the first one, which, okay, that's cool. They showed this new tech with his glasses that was really cool. I thought the new tech they had was pretty awesome as well. They had a really good conference. I, I think, again, they really listened to people. Didn't even talk about the Kinect because the Kinect is dead at this point. I mean, it's dead and it's buried somewhere in the Mexican land, New Mexico landfill next to the um, ET4 Atari, Atari 2600. It's buried there. So yeah, those are dead. But really a good conference overall. Phil Spencer, you have done an amazing job. As for the controller for the Xbox One, what do I think of that? It was an interesting, you know, it was cool. It was a really cool looking controller, but it's $150. It's like, wow, $150 for a controller? That's really pricey. Unfortunately, that's just a really pricey controller, and I don't think it's worth it. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It looks cool. It looks like a cool controller, but again, that's $150. So, yeah. But Fallout 4. Modding. For, and the, what's cool about the Fallout 4 modding, what's really cool about that, it's free. You can get mods free with the Xbox One. That is awesome right there. Wow. Oh, God damn. That's so cool. Microsoft, you did a great E3 this year. You hit a home run. You didn't hit out of the park. Again, I thought Halo 5 Guardians was just not that impressive. I didn't see enough of Warzone to make a judgment, and the other game you showed were a little on the weak side. But all around, it was a very good performance. So, yeah, just a good job all around Microsoft. You guys did a great job with this year's E3. And I was can't wait to see what you got planned. You really got planned. Phil Spencer, uh, okay, they better be buying his dinners every night because he's doing a great job with Microsoft. I kind of hope maybe Nintendo will trade for him. I, I kind of hope Nintendo will try gum for him in the future because Nintendo really does need Phil Spencer. But Phil Spencer, you ruled, man. You have done a great job with Microsoft. I give the Xbox One a lot of credit. Really turned it around. Good job, Microsoft.